Namaskar. Say your name, please. My name is Sudama. When I'm talking to you, then I wonder what is it what is talking to you? Is that what we call that self? Or is there because I can't realize anything else than that what is talking at the moment? Um, and I guess when you are talking, uh, is it the same what is talking? I'm going to uh, take you away from the neo Advaitin approach and simplify this whole um, existential question, of, hmm. basically, of who am I, down to the body, this Sudama, is the name given to this body, this conglomeration of cells that form this body, these organs, these, uh, the skin, the blood. And we call that Sudama. The soul, the self, is an independent entity because it does not come with intention or purpose. It does not exhibit the qualities that are associated with Sudama's will, Sudama's intent, Sudama's purpose. So when you are speaking to me, to reduce it down to its essence, it is actually this body that is speaking. This body is what? It is this body called Sudama that is speaking. Mm. And we keep the, uh, the identity of this body down to the minimum. So, Sudama, what is your mother's name? Uh, the, the your mother. Um, what is her name? If you truly ask me, I would say her name is Ananda Maima, but uh, if you talk to this <laughs> body, then it's a different thing. The body's mother. My, my body's mother? Her name is Inge. Inge. Mm -hmm. And where were you born, Sudama? This body was born in 1953. No, where? Huh? Where? Where? In Germany. So, Sudama, son of Inge, mm -hmm. from which city in Germany? Where? Near Frankfurt. So, Sudama, son of Inge, from near Frankfurt. And that maintains that very slim identity for this body. So, when you ask me, who is it that's speaking? It is this body that is speaking. And why I say that is because the soul itself doesn't speak. As I said, it is impulsing. It's the cosmic binary impulse that impulses the system over the years of the life of Sudama, son of Inge from Frankfurt and son of the spiritual Ma mm. of his system, Ananda Maima. Hmm. So, that is a little bit already of added identity, but let's take it because we love Ananda Maima, so we add that in. It is Sudama, this thing over here that's speaking, because without this thing over here, there is no I that is speaking anyway. Who is this speaking? This is me sitting here, daughter of, from, who is speaking. Mm. And it is the soul that is impulsing this body to say what it has to say. And when I'm in surrender to that truth, which is the Antar Guru, then what action, whatever it may be, whatever emerges from these lips, whatever emerges from this body, whatever action this body is taking, is emerging from the truth, and when this body is not in surrender, then its actions are emerging from the ego. It's a simplification on that path to becoming and perfecting this whole system as an instrument of the truth. So finally, this whole thing is, is truth in action. After the, you know, deepening of the practice, so the idea that I am the soul would in this context and in this approach 
not really be a statement of truth. It would come from the ego. Mm. Because the ego is identifying with the soul when actually the very idea of I is emerging in the thinking. And the thinking is not possible without the actual material brain, which is a bodily function. So it sort of makes you into an instrument of the truth. Mm. And the deeper you become an instrument of the truth, the more you perfect yourself as an instrument of the truth, the less there is need for any identification with anything, not even the soul. So that mm. is the direction in which what is spoken about here goes and the practice as well. So mm. it's practicing basically is just surrendering to the soul and learning to listen in to that almost imperceptible impulse which you knew as a child, which was lost over the socialization processes and you recover this and you move into that state of surrender, samarpan, you know. You would know that word quite well, I think.